Ascension. Welcome to your seven day forecast for the angelic ascensions. Hope all is genuinely well. This may be a reading that may resonate with you if you happen to have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus dominant in your natal chart, or if you happen to be cross watching for a Piscean. There are a few things that I would like you to keep in the back of your mind while you're listening to this reading, Pisces. Keep in the back of your mind, Pisces, that this reading is general. So this automatically means that not every single thing that is mentioned in this reading may be a fact to your story. In fact, there might be certain things that you might hear in this reading that resonate, and then there are guaranteed going to be some things that you might need to throw out. And please don't make any rash decisions based on what you hear from a general reading. You would like a reading based on your own personal energy, you can of course book a reading on my website, which happens to be angelicascensionstarot.com. Lastly, Pisces, we're going to go over some topics that you might feel are sensitive. And if that genuinely is not the type of reading that you came in search of, take this opportunity to go ahead and sign off. Those of you who are ready to take a deep dive with me, let's take a look first at these channeled messages. If you'd prefer to bypass this part of the video and go straight to the reading, the timestamp for where the reading begins can be found below. No parking zone. Chin check. If you go to the store, pick up some TP. Exigent circumstances slash eggs and circumstances. High society. Ambulance sirens. 19. Calistoga, California. Jasmine. Chevy Impala. 7-Eleven. You're not my dad. B. Darby. Auto glass damage. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. ASAP, the name Brian, FBI watch list, aerial photo, hammerheads, slogan, busted tail light. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the name Johnson, the song I Go Crazy by Paul Davis. Or it could be the, the if it's not the song, it could be the time period that the song came out. It could also maybe have something to do with the lyrics to the song. Maybe there's somebody that you can't stop thinking about. Cavity, cake for breakfast, plants versus zombies, the name Sarah Smile by um, Hall & Oates, sock drawer, wait, let me grab my gear, easy access, benefit of the doubt, and that's that, hot air balloon slash parasailing, Route 66, RPG show, clip off, Justine, they want to throw hands. Gen X Cops, Sharon is Karen, um, Billy Eyelash, Edward Scissorhands, Name Drop, Laredo, Texas, Cold Brew slash Iced Coffee, the name Sophia, There Are Allegations, uh, num the number 23, Eternal, Caught on Surveillance, Memory Loss, they were rushed to the hospital. The name Tanya. All right, Pisces Nation, let's dig right into this. Let's see what's going on over the next seven days. Pisces, keep in mind that even though I'm saying this is a seven day forecast, not everything happens at the same exact time for everyone. So it may be necessary for you to give the reading a chance to play out. Okay. It looks like you're having a power struggle with someone or you have in the past. Possibly an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay, that's who's definitely highlighted in your reading as some type of power struggle. This power struggle could have something to do with children or a child. But yeah, it's very clear that you are at odds with someone. This could be, like I said, over the way you're co-parenting a child. Maybe things have been very difficult between you and someone in particular. Maybe we're around this time you're not talking to this person. Now, eh, I'm trying to figure out what you would be running away from. What are you running from? Is it a new beginning? Wait, somebody's name could be Molly, Alexandra, Chris, and somebody could have a, like a com combination name. What are you running from? Maybe you're running from some type of success. Maybe you just need a break. I still don't quite understand. What is Pisces running from? Are you trying to avoid something possibly? Maybe a family member, Pisces. <sighs> okay, 
You're running from the devil. Okay, so what's the devil in this situation? I scared myself that day. The world. Like you're running from the streets. I don't know. Maybe a particular lifestyle that maybe you're trying to get away from. Who is the devil? Spirit guides. Okay. It looks like maybe you've tried to avoid this for a while. And maybe it, you're you're putting somebody out of your life. Maybe you're severing ties from someone. Um, Pisces. Maybe it's because something has caused so much damage to you. And maybe you feel like for the purpose of your own sanity, it's just better off that you avoid communication or avoid somebody that's just really foolish. Okay, because it looks like um, something for the longest. Um, Pisces has had you feeling very emotional. And it looks like maybe you do need some time to let go of something. Yeah. I think something that someone said has made a very deep impact on you. I think you're afraid of something in particular. I haven't figured out what that is. I kind of feel like you're afraid to reconnect with someone. But for others of you, it feels like maybe you're afraid of like a court situation. Well, if you're afraid of a partner. Okay, because someone is very aggressive and maybe you feel like it's just kind of time to get away from something or someone. Maybe you run, maybe you're very athletic, Pisces, maybe you're trying to get in shape, maybe you run track, whatever. But somebody has some very aggressive traits Maybe you feel like somebody has said something to you. They've taken some type of cheap shot at you. I said somebody said something about you or to you. Somebody thought something was really funny. And maybe you feel like you need to get away. But for a lot of you Pisces, it feels like you have a very strong spiritual connection with someone. And maybe someone entered your life at a very vulnerable time. And now you're getting to see the truth then. Okay. Somebody can be very cold. Um, somebody has the ability to push you away. Seems like you've really taken the time to pour into a relationship and pour into someone only to feel like you're being taken for granted to close. So it feels like something is coming to a close in your life. And if something may have something to do with a child, you could definitely be dealing with some type of childhood issues, which could be what you or someone is running from get into the deep down core of whatever is playing out or whatever has played out played out in the past something's coming to a close in your life yeah it feels like it could be a court situation we're going to talk about that in a minute you're gambling pisces you're going to the casino What's really going on with Pisces? Wow. You got a snake in your midst, Pisces. Okay, so that could be some type of gossip. Somebody could be saying some vile things about you. That could be why you're ending um, a relationship. You're also ending a contract, possibly. You might have a contract that might be coming to an end. Yeah, there's definitely gossip. Something might be going on on Twitter. I get that it's not called Twitter anymore, but you know, the rumor mill is chirping. People are watching. Maybe somebody wants to know the tea about you, Pisces, and maybe you're just at this time, you're just not wanting to be bothered. It feels like you have a lot of responsibilities on your plate. And it definitely feels like you have a confused lover that's on your mind. Um, yeah. Someone goes back and forth between you and someone. This might be why you're putting a relationship to a close. Illusion. 
It feels like you've fallen for someone's illusions in the past. And it just seems like now that you're healing and you're waking up to yourself, you're kind of realizing that it's time to exit a situation. Yeah. So maybe that is what you're leaving. Or you already did leave something behind. I did say that there is a lover. Maybe there's somebody that is on your mind. You're on their mind. Okay. It definitely feels as though Pisces. Mm -hmm. I think this is what you're you're leaving. You're realizing that then maybe it is time to let someone go. Because it feels like the hurt and the pain and the disappointment of it all is just not worth it to you anymore. Some very damaging things that someone is saying or doing to you. It feels like it's creating some type of resentment within you and maybe you just kind of need time to process your feelings i think this is why something is ending and why you're walking away from something you could be finding out about a third party situation and maybe this is some type of truth that you come up you've come across or some type of truth that you could be coming across this week and if this is not you going through this let me make it clear that for some of you there is a third party relationship there's like a love triangle if you're not going through this, then it could be the person that is paired. Like you might be the single person on the spectrum, on the situation, and someone else, the, the person, the, a love interest could be involved with someone else. And that could be what's coming to a close. They could be possibly closing out a relationship and there's somebody that would like to speak to you. Okay. I feel like for some of you, this is an ex. Someone wants to talk. The thing is though, Pisces, I think that someone is afraid to contact you. Either you are afraid to contact someone or someone is afraid to come to you. Someone wants to talk to you, but they're resisting this. You got the seven of swords. This is why you're banishing or uh, severing ties from someone. Someone has caused you a lot of injury. It could even be physical damage, physical injury. But um, cause I do feel like for some of you, this you're in a DV situation. Okay. Somebody might have the propensity to put hands on you. They don't just say damaging words, but it feels like somebody might be hurting you. Hurting you or hurting a child or all of the above. I think maybe you're a bit scattered at the moment. Maybe you're not sure what to do, but it definitely feels as though maybe you're walking on eggshells in a particular situation, not talking to someone because maybe you're not wanting to set somebody off. This could be somebody, like I said, that either you are married to currently, you're in a, if you're not married, then maybe you're in a long-term relationship with someone, some type of supposed committed relationship. It just feels like something about this situation is really off. And you're dealing with someone that you might feel has a lot of ego issues, a lot of pride and someone who is just very judgmental and full of themselves. And at this moment, it feels like you might be going through some type of judgment, trust issues. You're not wanting to argue with someone. And so I think you're splitting up from someone. And I think that either they are going through a split up. You see this, the lone man, Amarita, as the lonely man. I think somebody is lonely. And I think somebody is thinking about you. And I think they might be reminiscing about the type of bond that the two of you used to have. I think someone wants that back. For some of you, this is a family member. Maybe you've had a misunderstanding with a family member, Pisces. This wouldn't be something small though. This feels like this is something intense. You know what I mean? Like a, a really intense misunderstanding, not something on a small scale. Maybe you blocked somebody or maybe you've decided that someone is just so full of negative energy that you just really don't wanna partake in anything that they're doing lately. I think somebody has noticed that maybe you're not really paying them as much attention as maybe you used to. the high priestess you got somebody looking into your situation somebody could possibly be spying online maybe trying to figure out something about you somebody could possibly be going to a tarot reader once again king of swords somebody could have you got king of swords once again an air sign someone could have possibly maybe said something about you online or publicly somebody's very controlling pisces it could be a Libra. Definitely somebody running their mouth. Somebody could possibly be a smoker, Pisces. Okay, why is this person the devil in your reading? You're looking at them. 
like you're trying to get away from them the star this could have something to do with an Aquarius so Scorpio you're either a very spiritual being Pisces maybe there's some type of ritual that you're doing Maybe there's something that you're trying to bring in, manifest, this sort of thing. You might be into some magic. Maybe you're very witchy. Maybe you're doing something on, during the moon cycles. So, yeah, you're definitely like into the occult. And when I say occult, let me make it clear. I'm not saying that you are part of a cult. I'm saying occult, O-C-C-U-L-T, meaning that maybe you read tarot. You could be um, into astrology. Maybe you 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 um, are a psychic. You do palmistry. Um, you could be like a Reiki healer, a witch doctor, this sort of thing. Okay, but I definitely feel like you're someone who is very into spirituality or you could possibly be connected to someone of that sort. Maybe someone is high profile. Okay. But like I said, it feels like someone is really trying to get your attention, really trying to tap into your energy this week. Pisces and uh, maybe work something out with you. It just feels like maybe you're feeling, a, I don't know, maybe you don't want to be bothered. This person sees you as someone that does not want to talk. Like I said, the tower. We got the tower twice. Tower is here with the devil. Five of swords. I thought you got into a really intense situation with someone and it obviously feels like something got out of hand. Somebody would like to come back and make harmony with you. They want a better situation with you. I think somebody could possibly may want to contact you to kind of persuade you that things might be better the next time around maybe you have a child with someone i don't know pisces are you expecting a baby or maybe you have a a, a child a, a young child that maybe you're tending to i feel like this is a very spiritual child this child is here they have some type of deep spiritual mission could be an interracial uh, couple, Pisces, or someone could be mixed race, possibly. You got a Leo that's heavily, maybe you have a child that's a Leo. Yep, you got strength once again. Maybe you have, um, Oh, one of the channel messages was cavity. Random side note, maybe it's time to, to, to um, go take a trip to the dentist. Maybe you work in dental. You have a pet that you're tending to. Once again, you have the seven of swords with the emperor. This could have something to do with an Aries. I think you're walking away from an Aries or a Leo. A Leo could be walking away, a fire sign. This is... For some of you, a fire sign to fire sign relationship, even if this is not your sun sign. Who are you looking back at? The hermit, there's definitely a Virgo. Random Pisces, watch your step. Make sure that you don't stumble. You could possibly be stubbing your toe, maybe. I'm trying to see what's going on definitely have something going on with your with your home life okay something about that is unstable or you might have a legal situation connected to your home i hope hopefully pop cops are not coming to your home they are this would be in connection with a child like i said we'll look into that i'm trying to see what's going on there's a lot of children connected um <clears throat> children in your reading Trying to figure out, are you trying to have a baby? Okay, this would be good news for you. It feels like if you are trying to conceive Pisces, it looks like there might be, maybe you have a child, maybe there's a second one on the way. Maybe you have children that maybe um, are not that far apart in age. 
Okay, but I definitely see like three kids here. Maybe you have three children with someone. I don't know. Maybe you want a big family. I'm not sure. But uh, bear with me, Pisces. Are you scared that you're pregnant? Or someone in a third party could be? What's going on with Pisces? to see it while I say it. You have some type of financial situation that you might need to resolve. Maybe you're avoiding, maybe this is you. Maybe you, you need to speak to someone about a financial matter. And maybe you're afraid to contact a debtor possibly. You're in debt in some sort of way. Maybe you're having to resolve something. And I don't know, it looks like maybe you're kind of avoiding that. What is going on with the Pisces nation? Someone's coming coming back, okay? Especially if there's been someone who has tried to keep hold some type of secret from you. Okay, yeah. See, this could be someone who is a performer, someone that someone looks up to. Maybe somebody might feel like they just, it's an ego boost. Like somebody might feel like they need people to really worship and admire them this sort of thing like somebody might have an entourage a lot of groupies around them this sort of thing anyway king of cups Pisces, cancer scorpio what are they coming to do okay if they are not approaching you around this time it could be around the, the approach of spring pretty soon it looks like someone could possibly be paying you a visit and like i said it could possibly be this king of cups or something about this King of Cups becomes some type of relevant in some sort of way. I'm talking to this, you're not. Somebody doesn't know what to say. So I think something has just been a bit stagnant for a period of time. But someone is coming in to clear the air with you. Pisces. And there could possibly be a new beginning. I think that someone wants to see if you guys can get over some type of old issues. It just seems like there's, there's a part of you that is just kind of reluctant to move forward with this because of what they've tried to show you in the past, okay? Or what they have demonstrated in the past. It looks like somebody has done something to you in the past and they've tried to cover it up. Maybe for a minute there's something that you didn't want to see. Maybe part of you was denying the truth about this person. And now it feels like so many things are out in the open. So many things about this person are completely evident. And um, you get out of a toxic situation and it seems like somebody could be coming back or trying to bait you back into this. For others of you, maybe you have gone through a court situation. So let's talk about that. It's like somebody's trying to rat you out in some sort of way. You got a snake here, you got a rat. Somebody in your energy this week, Pisces, it looks like you're suspicious of someone's motives. Like something causes you to become uneasy and maybe you feel like there's someone in your energy that is up to no good. They have some type of bad motive. And I mentioned to you something about court. This feels like this could be court connected to children. Okay, maybe you have some type of police involvement here having to do with kids. You got the detective here as though maybe you're under some type of investigation. Somebody is looking into you. Maybe you had a previous case and maybe somebody is looking over those documents. Somebody, it looks like they're looking into you. Okay, so this looked like somebody may have come to your home in the past. I said you have some type of CPS, Child Protective Services, DCFS, Department of Family Services type of thing. Um, maybe somebody did come to your house and talk to you. And maybe you do have like some type of legal case opened, connected to this. Maybe this is something that has happened more than once. You got revolution. Like something has happened again and again. You might feel like something is always seeming to happen. Okay. Endurance. 
Okay, this feels like something is long and drawn out. Pisces. And maybe it's affected your health in some sort of way. It looks like somebody is returning. If this is a legal situation, it feels like somebody is threatening to bring something back and maybe you're trying to fight it here with this card that says conflict. You're trying to fight something or you're fighting over custody, especially if maybe you are splitting apart from someone. Maybe you're concerned about how this is going to go, who's going to get custody. It seems like you've really been going through it and you're trying to hold it together. But um, it seems like, yeah, especially if this is a legal situation, it's not moving. Something is kind of standing still. It feels like something could be coming to a close, possibly around the, the approach of spring. So pretty soon, pushing upward, it feels like, yeah, you've been trying to push through this. You've, you've been up against some type of adversity. Yeah, and it feels like something is on the verge of coming to an end. For some of you, this court situation has something to do with the fact that, like I said, you're in a violent relationship. You might be under some type of spiritual attack. Your spirit guides step in to give you some type of deliverance from your enemy. Metatron Advancement and Progress teaches, guides, and records events in the Book of Life. Teaches, guides, and records events in the Book of Life. Okay. I don't know what this is about. There's definitely something deeper that's going on. The Recording Angel, Wheel of Fortune, Archangel Metatron. You got the Wheel of Fortune twice. So this is what I mean. Your angels, your guides, whatever this is that you're doing here. I don't know. You got the devil here. You got angels here. I don't know. This could be something about a balancing between um, maybe what's going inside because it's going on within you. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what this is with the tree of life that your spirit guides are talking about. It feels like it has everything to do with trauma. I promise you, somebody's trying to watch you and get away with something that they're doing. The tree of life. I don't know. Maybe you're very religious. Pisces, or maybe you're very spiritual. What is this with the book of knowledge? Teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. The book of knowledge. This reminds me of, oh... We have the snake here. That's the tree of, if you go back to the times of Adam and Eve, just random, okay? There was a serpent that had tempted Adam and Eve and they called that the tree of good and evil. The tree of knowledge, basically. And I mentioned to you that I think that you're someone who is very spiritual. I mentioned to you one of the channel messages was Clipoth. Well, you got the tree of life in the upright, tree of death. Kabbalistic tree here. Maybe you are studying the Kabbalah, but something about the Clipoth here. You got the devil, okay? Maybe you're into some deep. Maybe somebody's into like dark magic. The clip off literally means shells. So it feels like there is a part of yourself that is shelled. And maybe that's what you're running from. Maybe it's your own personal deep down evolution. Because it feels like there's something that you're meant to let go of that you've been holding on for the longest. And it feels like it's some type of trauma. And it seems like maybe you might be studying something, looking into something, getting to the root of the issue. It feels like that's what your guides are playing are, are calling you out of. This card that says deliverance. This is why the devil is here. It feels like there's something that has become, has created some type of attachment, an unhealthy attachment. And it seems like you have some type of um, figurative demon, some type of um, addiction, 
something that you run to for peace when you're in a state of fear and now it feels like your guys are wanting you to confront something they want you to look deep inside yourself to maybe examine what is the root of the issue and it seems like your guys are in inviting you to take a bold step forward. You see how there's illumination here in both of these cards? Like your spirit guides are calling you towards something. They are trying to get you to face your shadow, which is why I feel like the clip off is here, to get you to really get to the root of the issue, to really look deep down inside to see where your soul is shelled so that you can free yourself. But your guys are saying you gotta let go of something, Pisces. And this week, and I think maybe you've known that, but you've been running from it, your shadow, some, some aspect of your shadow. You guys are saying so the things can flow better. Because it seems like something in your life is kind of blocked. And you're in a state of fear about something that might be going on in your life. Thank you, spirit guys, some sort of adversity. So whatever that adversity is in your life, like I said, it feels like the, the spiritual realm comes in to deliver you from something. And it seems like, especially if this is a court situation, something has the ability to turn around in your favor. We're talking about balance here with the, with the light, the, the, the positive side and the, the dark side, the shadow side of something. Something is causing you to dig deep within your shadow. I don't know if you you like to read, you genuinely are just into reading books. You could possibly be going to a library. It could be something as simple as that. But with this book of knowledge, this sort of thing, it feels like something is really calling something out of you. And it seems like there could be some type of childhood damage here. We talked about trauma. Maybe this is the week that you look deep and you decide to repair the damage. Spirit guides, explain, yeah, you're putting up boundaries, it feels like, with an intimate partner. Somebody has treated you like trash, Pisces, or vice versa. Someone might feel like you've done this. It could even be with like a friendship connection. What is it? What is Pisces repairing the damage to? Be a lot of different things this could be physically okay i did say that you have some type of vice here maybe you have some type of an addiction a literal one maybe there's something that you're putting in your body that might be causing some type of um damage to your health yeah see your spirit guides are definitely speaking out to you this week pisces I feel like this is just a very spiritual week for you or you're just diving deeper and deeper into spirituality and as you do so it feels like your outlook on things change it feels like now maybe you can see light at the end of the tunnel with something that you've been enduring for the longest time it feels like you got some type of blessing coming in yeah you got some type of contract thank you yep you have some type of an addiction that's something that you're putting in your body. It could even be um, something that you're feeding yourself, right? It could even be mentally. It feels like there might be something, like I said, that you're clearing away out of your life. I mentioned to you something about, who is this? You definitely have somebody that's playing some type of mental game with you. Pisces, somebody's constantly putting you down. You do feel trapped. This is exactly what I mean. You're shelled in some sort of way. Your spirit guys are calling you out of that. Okay. Yeah, there is a baby. No, you are pregnant. Or you could be finding out about a pregnancy. Pisces. Could be news of pregnancy. Somebody's coming to talk to you. Remember that. We talked about earlier in the reading that someone is returning home. That could be the person that's coming to repair the damage. 
or you could possibly be deciding to initiate this to repair some type of damage to put something to an end okay with a friendship is that what this is or maybe for some of you it's extended family but for a lot of you like i said it's a romantic partner you're definitely crossing paths with someone Someone's coming to your house. You might be getting a package delivered to your home, Pisces. What is this about extended family? Is that who's ratting you out? No, it feels like somebody is afraid to contact you and then they go ahead and do so. But at first it feels like someone is afraid to do so. And then they do, because it looks like you see someone as antisocial. Okay. I thought it could be extended family. Your baby's dad, possibly. So what are they coming to do? Extended family. It could be the extended family that has this legal issue. It feels like you're involved in it or you're connected to it in some sort of way. Goodness, okay. I guess we're talking about something else. Yeah, somebody might live at it like a distance from you. Somebody could be flying or traveling. Maybe you are a travel agent. You might be um, a stewardess. I don't know, random. Are you afraid to do your taxes? Because that could be where you're repairing the damage to some type of financial situation. Um, you could be moving. Maybe that's what this contract is about, Pisces. You could be discussing a contract, renegotiating a contract. Maybe that's what this legally binding situation is about. Yeah. Maybe you're getting in contact with someone um, via a meeting, maybe somebody on, on a Zoom call. Be careful about what you're doing when you are online. It seems like somebody could be possibly trying to hack into your information, Pisces. <laughs> this is somebody doing some type of mental hacking. You know what I mean? By that is somebody could be very manipulative or somebody could be, I mentioned to you, like really deep into, somebody might realize, somebody could really know how to hack into your mental space. And maybe, I don't know, it might sound so random, but kind of like read your thoughts. What's going on with, like somebody's psychic. Yeah, maybe you're feeling under the weather this week. What's going on with the computer, your password? Maybe you're needing to reset your password. Oh, maybe you work online. Or you might come across something online that um, gives you some type of inspiration. Something or someone. I'll look into your money situation in a minute because it definitely feels like you're worried about money. But like I said, it's time to do your taxes and, and maybe you, you owe money. And you're afraid to take care of that. I told you somebody did some dark stuff. I say you're in some type of DV situation. All right, I kind of want to talk to single. Before I do that, though, let me tell you, if you are going through a court situation, Pisces, it looks like you're going to win. Okay. You're gonna be, there's, there's definitely some type of um, victory that you're getting in a particular situation. There's something you're wishing for and you're hoping for, and it actually plays out for you. It just feels like you might kind of have to be patient. But as well, Pisces, be careful about who you come in contact with. Okay. Somebody doesn't have the best of intentions. Okay. With this double card. Maybe you've been through hell with someone, possibly. But like I said, somebody it might be trying to do some type of... Um, I say somebody lighting candles on you. Or you're lighting candles on someone. Energy is energy. It's neutral. It, it, it has everything to do with the energy that you're putting into something. And it seems like someone's putting 
negative energy into something possibly sending you this negative energy it just feels like somebody doing some type of curse some type of hex on you pisces this isn't the case for every single pisces or cross watcher that is listening not really the case but for some of you this is the confirmation that maybe you were looking for not all of this is bad not everyone is doing spiritual work to harm someone but for some of you there's someone doing some type of baneful magic on you i don't know what is this i think you are banishing this energy away from you what is this let's look a little bit deeper we got this card that says adversity i don't want to spend too much time on this but I mean, it's coming up in the reading as though it is um, someone's story and maybe somebody just kind of needs to hear this. Manifestation. That's what I'm telling you. There's somebody that does some type of dark magic. But like I said, this could be you trying to manifest something into your life. For others of you, I feel like somebody's trying to manifest some type of chaos, chaotic situation for you. Why? Protection. Well, it feels like you guys are saying protect yourself from this energy. Okay, because I think somebody is trying to like block you, keep you stuck, Pisces. You need to put some money into your car. Car might need to be serviced this week, Pisces. Just as a quick side note, why? Somebody sees you as an easy target. You got some type of bully. And somebody might feel like you're not going to defend yourself. This could definitely be the case in court. I think somebody could be possibly attacking your money, your finances. But really what I feel that this is, is that, like I said, you may feel like you've been through hell with someone, you know? And it feels like somebody, you're under some type of psychological or verbal abuse with someone and somebody is possibly mishandling your money. And this feels like this is some type of financial abuse that maybe you're going through. For some of you, if it's not physical. Random. Somebody could be a martial artist or they could be very athletic. Why is someone trying to do this to you? It seems like it's because you are a psychic or you're a prophet of some type. You're bringing enlightenment and truth and discernment to, to the mass collective. I don't know. It seems like they look, they view you as the enemy in some sort of way. I think somebody's trying to silence you, Pisces. Random. Somebody might need help them help in math. Math class, health class, this sort of thing. If you live in a rural city, rural environment, something's going on, Pisces. Somebody is ratting you out or snitching on you. I don't know. Random. And maybe this is the reason for some type of legal issue. Some of you, this feels like this is um, an unjustly, uh, this is brought about in a very unjust manner, this court situation. Like somebody might be trying to accuse you of doing something that you're not doing or frame you in some sort of way, Pisces. Like I said, just look out. It looks like somebody might not have the best of intentions. Pisces. Either they don't have the best of intentions for you or this is intentions toward family members in particular a child and this child could be older but it seems like there could be 
like this could be a teenager, could be a young adult. It just feels like somebody has a very naive quality to them. And it definitely feels like your angel step in to give you some type of guidance. Like I said, to deliver you from something that is an illusion. Something appears to be a certain way in the beginning, but as time progresses, it feels like you get to see the truth. Of, thank you, spirit guides. The truth about something or someone. It feels like the mask comes off. But again, we're talking about um, shadow self. It feels like in this way as well, the mask comes off and you're able to really dive in to look at yourself, okay? Maybe the reasons why you drink or the reasons why someone else drinks. I don't know what this is about, but again, it feels like someone is running from something and it feels like you guys want someone to come clean. Maybe you're washing your hands of something or someone. You got a lot of moon energy here, so again, but this is cancer to me cancerian energy you got some type of subconscious programming okay somebody has a, the tower this is the moment of realization i don't know who's reading this is for or how this makes sense for you but i definitely feel like once the tower falls you find the truth about something but this could even be the tower falling within yourself if you get what i'm trying to say somebody has mental illness by the way or somebody's looking at someone like they have mental illness but they may not really have that that could just be pure hearsay and other people are buying into it all right pisces you got okay now say somebody's ratting you out you have mice around you pisces because you got a lot of rats in your reading i don't know definitely has something to do with what's going on legally and i think you might be able to get out of the situation unscathed even though it feels like someone meant some type of harm for you Pisces, it just feels like you, you come off victorious in a particular situation or you see the truth about something in the nick of time. For some of you, I feel like this could have something to do with health, which we're going to look at in a little bit. No, I'll just say this while I see it. Something might be going on with um, some Pisces. Maybe you're having an issue with like a cardiac issue having to do with blood flow. Something could be blocking the circulation of blood flow. I don't know. Something could even be affecting your sleep. I'm hearing the word sleep ap sleep apnea. Sleep apnea. You have the tower again. Spirit guys, show me what the tower is. But like I said, it may have something to do with what's going on online. It could be something that you're witnessing. If it's not something that you are going through personally, you might be witnessing something. What? Why is a tower here? It may have something to do with a Leo. Something's definitely being illuminated. It could be you. You could be someone who is very enlightened. Somebody definitely burned a bridge with you, Pisces. Maybe you might see them online. No, that's something else. What is this about, Spirit Guides? Okay, so I'm trying to see what's going on with... Um, password you might need to reset your password you might get locked out of an account this week Pisces and maybe you might be locked out for an extended period of time you're waiting for something to change and it doesn't <laughs> it just seems like something might be a little bit prolonged when it comes to something that might be happening online um, especially let's, let's look into this. Let's say that maybe your children are watching something online. Maybe it might be necessary for you to password protect something when it comes to children, especially with this devil situation. It seems like somebody could be preying upon children here. So it might be not a bad idea to look into what maybe a child is watching online. Maybe they might be watching things that are inappropriate for their age and possibly maybe you might be deciding to do something about that. Your intuition might be telling you that something is going on. You got this card that says innocence, yeah. Might be something that you want might want to look into or this could have something to do with who is around your children. Remember, I was telling you, someone comes across as very naive if they're not an actual age of a child. 
somebody might be trying to prey upon a child in some sort of way so it may be necessary for you to interfere in some type of way okay so something's going on in court you might feel like something is postponed do you want to postpone something okay i definitely see some i mentioned to you something about a contract a living situation no, you need to contact the court. Maybe you're afraid to contact the court or afraid to contact. Is this your landlord possibly? You are. Okay, some of you, you're afraid to contact a friend. There might be a friend that wants to reach out to Pisces and maybe they haven't. For somebody, this is the bank. Maybe you're doing some type of online banking. Okay, something is delayed with your money this week, Pisces. And it could be because something, or delayed with something that you're doing online. It feels like it has something to do with, um, with that. I promise you something's going on with the kid. Maybe this week, maybe you're wanting to get away. Maybe you're going to the coffee house. Maybe you're getting some type of, um, I don't know, coffee. <laughs> type of a caffeinated drink, okay? And it just seems like maybe the things around you are just, it's, it's like sensory overload. There's too many people around you. So it does feel like maybe you're intentionally trying to isolate yourself from people. And maybe that entails you maybe cooking more. Maybe you might find yourself cooking at home more this week. Um... You might be doing some type of spiritual cleanse. Maybe you're cleaning the bathroom. You might be looking into what's going on with your children at school because like I mentioned to you, some of them, they're, they're being bullied at school. Or this is, like I said, they're, they're having some type of issue with um, comprehending things in school. And maybe there's some type of teacher involvement in this. Maybe you might need to speak to your teacher. Your child's teacher might be bringing something to your attention. Maybe possibly giving you input about something. Yeah, somebody's putting down a child, belittling someone. Personal empowerment. Yeah, see there's definitely something that you're, you're looking into with regard to self. Intoxication with destructive power, destroying others' dreams or potentials. I'm trying to tell you. Somebody in your energy or around you, around a child. This could even be your own mind. Since we're talking about looking into yourself, are there certain things that maybe you're saying to yourself, Pisces? Where you're setting yourself back. Keeping yourself wrapped up in the same cycles and feeling as though you cannot seem to move forward. Because it kind of seems that way. Like I said, it feels like your angels are calling you out of this, the source of all. It looks like you are getting to the source of the issue, but source, it seems like you, you have a very strong relationship with source, the universe, the God. Share your thoughts. It does. It feels like there's a lot going on mentally. And it might benefit you to share your thoughts with maybe people that you feel are trustworthy. Maybe this is where you're networking. Engage your social awareness and empathy. Maybe this is something that you're doing online. Maybe this is what this online connection is about. Maybe this is how you're sharing your thoughts in this sort of way. Maybe you're writing, maybe you're journaling more. You got this card that says observe in silence. If you do have an online presence, Pisces, it definitely feels like there is someone that might be observing you in silence, but does not have good intentions towards you. This feels like this could possibly be a jealousy thing, trickster. Yeah, 
be careful about who you're sharing your information with why you are sharing your thoughts like i did say it's important to share your thoughts with people that you genuinely trust because it does feel like someone could be coming across a certain way um maybe as an angel of light but someone is definitely deceptive in sort of some sort of way or somebody could be simply asking your information or trying to maybe see what you're saying hear what you're saying in silence keeps coming up pisces in your readings and somebody might be trying to spread that information this could also be someone noticing like i said did i say you're talking to your child's teacher somebody is struggling in math pisces or struggling to understand somebody might have like a learning disability releasing negative thought patterns so i say your spirit guides are calling you out of something some type of negative thought pattern pisces going to the movies possibly you're going to the gym maybe you've been missing gym sessions definitely you're going to the bank maybe you're getting some type of loan credit getting in touch with a creditor be without malice i'm telling you that's who's watching you it's background information, Pisces. Don't let this bother you too much, but it's good for you to be informed that maybe somebody doesn't have the right intentions. You're feeding them all your personal information and they're running back and using that information against you. And maybe you don't see this about someone yet. I have a card here talking about patience. Yeah, wow. Patience. What is this patience about? Thank you. Witch. Confirmation. I did say that maybe you're witchy or you're going to maybe um, a healer, a witch doctor, this sort of thing. Be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves. Be patient. You're going to see the truth about someone. Pisces. I definitely feel like somebody's doing a hex on you. So here's the confirmation. That's what I mean. I think that's the person that's trying to get information off of you. Sacrifice. What can you let go of? I told you somebody's into some deep, dark stuff. Somebody could possibly be doing some type of ritual sacrifice. I don't know. Pisces. I don't know who's reading this is or whose confirmation that is. Pisces. Fighting. Somebody's trying to take you down. Oh, we talked about children online putting, making something password protected. Somebody is, is a child that might be looking at a lot of porn. Somebody has a booty fetish, by the way. They could be watching porn or things, like I said, that are inappropriate for their age. So let's sum it up, Pisces. Maybe you might be going to, to um, do some shoe shopping this week. You might be noticing a lot of bugs around you. There might be a lot of fighting, a lot of shouting that could be play, taking place. Maybe you could possibly be triggering someone. Um, it is time to go to the doctor. There's some type of situation, Pisces, that I think you've been putting on the back burner. Maybe you've been avoiding going to the doctor. Maybe this is the week. You've got this card talking about repairing the damage, okay? Like I said, there might be something that you're putting in your body that maybe is very damaging to your organs. Pisces could be this fried food type of situation um what am i trying to say some type of heart situation i was talking about um circulation I'm trying to tell you yeah this card that says repairing the damage i heard atherosclerosis something is blocking blood flow you have some type of blood pressure issue somebody's diabetic possibly I mentioned uh, one of the channel messages was cavities 
there's some type of restraint there's a need for balance something you're putting in your body pisces in excess it feels like it's time to maybe get to the root of the situation something is hidden and it, it could have something to do with some type of vitamin deficiency um pisces it could be because you're a homebody maybe you're not getting outside maybe you're not getting enough sunlight that could be contributing to something why salt too much salt intake cholesterol maybe your teeth are yellowing i don't know it just feels like this is yep see i'm going on with your blood blood flow i'm trying to say liver liver pancreas is what i'm feeling thank you what is it with this smoking is that the vice that you're dealing with or somebody around you is something is a bit too much um and somebody could be anemic also by the way you might be noticing a lot of spiders around you um pisces or cross watcher why do you want to say lead poisoning anyway it feels like this is the week where you could possibly be returning to the doctor or pisces deciding to really look into your health Maybe deciding to get some more exercise in order to really improve your health. Maybe you're drinking some more water. Maybe there's a stressful situation that maybe you're realizing that you need to get out of. Because it feels like stress could also be making a health issue worse. There's some things this week, Pisces, that come up. Maybe you don't feel like you know the answers. You might be looking outside of yourself, looking for external answers and you guys are saying the answers are within pisces so i mentioned to you that this is the week where you really do decide to turn within maybe this is the week that you decide to meditate more or like i said work more on your manifestation abilities this sort of thing you might have some sort of new beginning certain people i feel like you might be cutting off pisces Yeah, you're definitely going through some, we talked about this, some type of deep transformation. Something that, that you see about yourself today, maybe something different that you see about yourself in, in, in a, an extended period of time from now. Yeah, I say that maybe you're into spirituality, this sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. You might read tarot. Or you feel called to read tarot or that's what brings you to tarot these days. You got a lot of references here to books and knowledge. Okay, there's something new that I feel like you're diving into or some type of thing that you're studying. This could also be maybe talking to a parental figure. Maybe it's time to maybe look into what's going on with your children. Okay, are they studying? You got a child that might have a spiritual gift. Um, and a child that was born spiritually gifted, this sort of thing. Pisces, let's go ahead and close this out. Anything else, spirit guides, that you have for the Pisces Nation? Connecting with an earth sign, or this is you getting um, maybe more grounded. Okay, there's definitely success coming in for you, um, especially those of you who are self employed. There's someone that's coming in this week that is full of ego. And um, thank you. And I say something about spell work and you being witchy. This is either you doing this to someone or maybe this is you banishing someone's energy, transmuting energy. Yeah, your spirit guides are definitely showing up in your dreams. Pisces, this week, once again, you have a book. I hear the word grimoire. I don't know, maybe you're writing out spells, sigils, this sort of thing. But I definitely feel like Pisces very spiritual week for you where you're really um taking a deep dive into yourself once again the tree of knowledge and you got the clip off so i mean yeah i think you're very balanced in your um 
Maybe you're curious about the, the dark side of spirituality as well as the positive side. I did see yin and yang here. So that's what this feels like. There's there's a, a, a positive polarity to spirituality as, far, as well as a negative. It feels like you're curious to know about both sides so that you can man uh, balance that type of energy. Okay, yeah, because you're definitely, like I said, you're someone who's very spiritual. You're lighting candles. You, you may know the benefit of taking spiritual cleanses and this sort of thing. It feels like, yeah, you, you do. You know how to protect your energy. And I think this is the week that maybe you're really coming into that. Believe. This, the force that works through your soul determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success or failure and above all who you are is the power of your belief. I promised you, you got this card that's talking about transformation and now we're talking about beliefs. This feels like this is the week that your beliefs about certain situations, certain knowledge or information that you were given as, as a child it feels like something within you is shifting. You're looking deep within something. You're looking at the details of some type of knowledge, information. You're reading more. You're really, for some reason, I promise you, it feels like you're trying to center yourself. And you're realizing the power of your beliefs, especially when it comes to manifestation. I think that you're seeing the truth about certain things, certain truths maybe about spirituality, but definitely about yourself. There's something very powerful going on within you this week, Pisces. Forgiveness, holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform we talked about that not that far into the reading we're talking about resentments so as you go through this transform transformation it feels like now you're realizing that there's certain things we talked about that that your angels want you to let go of something or to make the sacrifice of something Something is, is not something that that is beneficial for you to keep around. Whatever that happens to be, Pisces. And we talked about deliverance. Your guides are calling you out of that. They're helping you to redirect your energy so that things can flow better in your life. Something is blocking the flow. And it feels like it's resentments. Old emotional patterns that are keeping your soul shelled. One more spirit, guys, for the Pisces Nation for the next seven days. Soul power. Always remember, you are a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true es essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. That's what I'm trying to say. Pisces, I think that you are an incredibly powerful manifester i think that you're stepping into your full power and you're knowing your full potential i definitely feel like you have a lot of powerful energy backing you with something that you're some type of ritual that maybe you're performing or something that you're doing deep within you're doing a deep dive within yourself I feel like you've been stabbed in the back several times and it feels like you're healing that energy you're learning how to let go and manifest new energy into your life i know i said that was the last one ancestral wisdom we are your ancestors and we love you we've walked many we walked the earth many years before you we ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from your past from our past experiences you are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue we will continue to help you as continue helping you 
as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. Okay, so it feels like evolution continues even in the afterlife. Your ancestors are still going through an evolution process and they've learned certain things, certain lessons. They may be observing you going through something, Pisces, and they're trying to help you. This is where they're trying to give you this deliverance, right? We talked about that before. They're calling you out of something that has been an illusion for you or has caused you to feel like you are trapped. Got some money coming to you too, Pisces, especially if your money has been held up. Random side note. Some money that maybe you didn't expect is coming through. It seems like it's been it's been held up for a while. It seems like, yeah, maybe that's what you're doing, this manifestation, or is to increase your finances. Maybe your your lease is nearing completion. It seems like something different. I, I haven't figured it out. I didn't go back to that, Pisces. Something might be going on with your living situation. And it seems like you might be looking into that or getting in contact with someone. Maybe your landlord, like I said. You, it, it's either someone is coming to speak to you about something or you may need to speak to someone. Like I said, it could be your child's teacher, whatever the case is. That Pisces Nations concludes your seven-day forecast with angelic ascensions. I hope that this reading has been helpful to you. If so, Pisces, help me out by giving this reading a thumbs up. Consider stepping to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And if you do decide to subscribe, Pisces, make sure that you hit that post notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload a video for a sign that you're cross-watching for or whenever I go live. Thank you, Pisces Nation, for deciding to tune in this week. Have a blessed, beautiful, and productive week, Pisces, and a happy birthday. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, Pisces Nation.